Hello, I run this over to Vice Cat. Have you done the nutrients casting and the shovel and everything? You have? Good, let's do it. Are you going? I am. Let's go. I said there's a point of no return for that, so if you haven't gotten nutrients cat, you just went forward and saved, you're done. Here's what you should have. Very interesting place. This is the beginning of the map again, though now we have that little dead thing. And this thing, there's a novel here. Strange book, isn't it? Well, lots of people have read it. I wrote it, but the name is my friend's. Yes, I hate it. I know I told you that again and again. The name itself is great. My teacher gave it to me. But I hate myself so much for not living up to the name. Wow. It's blotted out and unreadable. This is where we part. This is my world. The store leaves my current world. It's very tiny, it's still restricted. Wow. It's open. Why did you why did it come to this? You're smart, so perhaps you know. You know the answer. Tell me, Alan. Wow. Obtain a shard of XXXX. That's the last shard. We got all nine of them. Mother? Father? I have to go. Well, it's like we have memory. Now, save the game here. Do it. I'm going to do a safety save. And I'm going to hop in that little hole to the right of the door. It's a strange hole. Let's go down. Count your sins! You might have said forward if you couldn't see me. Judgment, guilty. Sentence to bed. Sweet dreams for life. Oh god, he looks creepy. Yo, yo, yo. What? Told you, didn't I? I'd show you the goods in the hood? What kind of a mess? I scrounged up some stuff. The thighs from a boy who hurt by sheep. Hair, a girl who lost the light. Ears, an abandoned black cat. Creepy. Pretty sweet, don't you think? Keep on that praise. Now, I'm a guy who keeps his promises. You got the key, yeah, from the white rabbit? Are you stabbing somebody or getting stabbed is boring. For me, anyway. You're not sure how to answer any of my questions. You taste lousy, I bet. Oh, that's right. Did I tell you that, too? We eat souls. If we don't, we go poof. We could eat dogs or frogs, sure, but people taste best. Especially when their souls are broken by despair and agony. Skyden and Monokuma is awesome. Kids don't know that much stuff, but you know what to take. It's easy to break them. But man, I didn't think you'd be so hollow when I took it from you. Kids like you are rare in this day and age, you know. Adults are no good, though. They're too hard because of all that dirty knowledge. So we mainly die by luring kids into this world. Ah, but this time is special. The kid never changed, not since he was a little brat. Couldn't be a happier day than this. No, sir. What's so funny? You eat pigs and cows and their souls. What's the difference if we eat frog and human souls? There really ain't no difference between us and you. We we'll keep using the same language as you. That never struck you. Question, what do you think happens when people die? When people die in vanish from the world, they give us power. Cause souls don't die. And there's all kinds of them, and I take things from them. I can rewrite the signs on the paths people take, in a good way or a bad way. You guys like to call that the work of demons, or angels depending. There's only one different, the only one different is our god. Wow. He made right, he's pretty rageful. He made so all creatures need XXXX to live. But people will get XXXX because they made their own rules. Well, what do you think of that? The world was already over once people came into being. Just taking the road from, to the end from then on. Well, there you go. That's what I've done. Now, I told you a bit ago the other way to link the world with the world. Back to the demon. In these terms, your soul and mine get mixed. 
If I can take a soul rather than eat it, I can live much, much longer. Strong intentions are risky. Those make it hard for me to act the way I like. But you're empty. You don't get a chance this good every day. You can give me everything. I'll take all the guys in this world back to your world as thanks. Maybe or before you know it. It doesn't hurt. Manage here or merge with me to help the others. What'll it be? Don't say no. Pack made! I can't hate you, smart rats! By the way, I think you'll keep enough consciousness to see. So there's that. Why well, took why well, took from you? Alright, I'll tell you before you go. XXXX, I took XXXX from you and from the others. Satisfied? Alrighty, I remember you. Sure will. So long, Alan. Well, that was interesting. Very interesting in that. But yeah, if you say no, it's a game over. Instead, we get this. Looks like we get to see a little bit of Alan now. So yeah, we get to see Alan's ending. Yay! See, I told you it was worth it, and this is why you answered not sure every single time. Because if you didn't answer not sure every single time, this would not happen and you would not get this ending. And there's a reason we had to get this ending, and you'll see why in a little bit. So you definitely want to say not sure at the end of each world, for that one reason that you'll soon see. But actually, there's only one or two more things we gotta do, and then we're done. So we're very close to the end. Yeah, that music. Yeah, the Cheshire Cat's actually a demon. Who would have thought? I guess he wasn't helping Alice by singing all that time. He was, definitely wasn't topping it with pickled beets. Mm hmm, topping it with pickled beets. Dang it, Care Bears! Yes, I saw that movie. Yes, I own that movie. Yes, I watch it a lot. Shut up. And no, I'm not actually a fan of Pickled Beasts. It's the song. <sighs> too early for this, I tell ya. Way too early. Hey, we're almost done with this round. Well, this... You know. Me, your teacher again. Oh, hi. All right. One... Man, he's a, it's always hard to get used to new stuff. Is this key? Man, I don't want to meet Rabbit right now. I'll toss it out around here. Now, to pick up the pieces, who will I eat first? I bet if I eat him right in front of him, he'll fall to the spare easy. Key adults, though. I'll play with him, then get some new parts from him. <laughs> and Cheshire Cat. Wow, that is creepy. Though I've seen worse. But we get the Cheshire Cat ending. That's the whole reason why we did it. That's why you had to say not sure. But now we're not going to do that. Now we're going to go and go the actual way and finish this fight. I love the smell of hero. A variety of books. I think we're going to hear that a lot. Hmm. Oh, right here. I brought a house. Well, but it was poorly a facility. It's much too big for me. I can see myself getting lost easily. I'm dead to Cliff once again. I should really thank him later. Today I met a girl. A few days ago, she was found near a house that burned down and seems to be the daughter. She insists there is someone other than her. She seems to have another personality, so I gave her double the furniture and such. I wasn't sure what to do, but at any rate, I found a research subject this way. She's now in my care. Lydia and Rick. No symptoms at the moment. Well, that's good. I met a second girl. I received a letter three days ago that had all the particulars. That's because of what she's been through. She's much less cheery. She's reluctant to talk to me. She enjoyed talking with the other girl. I'll bet not for very long. 
Maybe slow, but I'll try to get her talking with me. Chelsea, no sentence at the moment. The third I met a boy. I was surprised by, by given his mother, I decided to take him in. He talks plenty, but he's illogical. He was a little awkward with two girls, but they're playing together a few days later. They kept putting frogs on my head. He's a bit too mischievous. Joshua, no symptoms at the moment. I met the fourth, a girl. She walked from a town in the woods. I talked with her and she told me about a new mysterious illness event. Evidently it wiped out her town. Does she have a resistance to it? I'm a little interested, but it's unrelated. She doesn't want to talk about it much. I tried to talk with her. She doesn't talk with the others. Just playing piano in her room. No symptoms at the moment and that's Stella. All children have the potential to break out, but still no symptoms. But there are, are there even symptoms? How did it go back then? I'm getting a headache. I'll stop for now. A few pages are ripped out. I met a fifth child. He was outside when the incident happened. They say the shock caused memory loss. At a glance, I was surprised. It's just a hunch, but he may, he just, he must be on the verge. I'll watch him very carefully. Two seasons have passed since then. What have I been doing? I feel like my chest is burning. I see the scene in my mind again. This was me. Yes. Very soon. It must be over soon. My head hurts. I'm sorry, Fiona. There's a scrap of paper in the back and we are the one. Obtain a notebook scrap. When I came to, it was my usual world. She's still sleeping today. I XXXX lots of people, but I was never XXXXed. Why is that? Ah, uh, should I have been XXXXed more? There's no bad people left. There's only good people around me. Cass says only bad people can XXXX. Which is right. I don't know. I don't know a thing. I just keep trying to get XXXX people so I can be XXXXed.